going on everybody it's just me by now hopefully you know who i am okay i'm just getting back from the fitness center not too long ago and um what is up with uh people working out and then coming out to take a smoke break i'm not understanding that what's I mean, don't you go to the fitness center to get healthy? Shouldn't stop and smoke and be in the first thing that you want to do when you're going to the fitness center? I mean, cigarettes aren't healthy. Anyway, that was just a little thing I'm wondering about I don't get. Why, you know, whatever. But... And another question. Now listen, when I ask questions, it's because I want to know. I had asked somebody a question and I asked them, don't get offended. I'm just, I wanted to know. So I don't know if they actually did get offended. It seemed like they did, even though it wasn't meant for them to get offended. I just had a question and I wanted to know. I don't mind. Any questions that you may have for me, you can ask them. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to answer everything, but... I mean, I'm doing YouTube videos. People are going to probably have questions. So, I mean, I don't, you know, you got a question, you can ask it. But this is a question that I have, and I'm asking because I want to know. How long should a person actually keep a weave in? Hmm. Ah. I mean, are they supposed to wait till it, like, starts to come out on its own? Like, like falling out or something because I've seen that so how long are you actually supposed to keep a weave in I'm just wondering because I've I don't wear weaves or something but I've seen some ones that look like they should have been out a long time ago and I'm wondering well, maybe well it's like maybe it's not time for it to come out or something like, how long should it actually stay in there? Or is it supposed to? I don't know. Because is it staying in there for months or something? I don't know. But some of them look pretty bad. It's like they should have came out a long time ago. But maybe it wasn't time. So I don't know. But I'm here to talk to you. What I'm going to be doing, this is going to be a series of weight loss and weight management videos and what it's going to be dealing with is from a what's called a flavor point point of view maybe some of you have heard of it maybe some of you have not but what it's dealing with as far as um did you know that the plates the plates that we eat on have been enlarged the standard plates you know they have standard sizes for like everything right and so the plates even the plates that we eat on have been enlarged made bigger so the standard size is not what it used to be it's larger plates are bigger so you can put more food on them so you can supersize it at home how about that Manufacturers want us to eat more, so we'll buy more. They put salt and sugar in just about everything, so we'll eat more. That's what they want us to do. This is probably the fattest society that has ever been. In the 50s, they didn't have a lot of obesity. In the 60s, they didn't have as much obesity. And there's a reason for it. It's all somewhat programmed. And we're buying into it. And we've bought into it. That's why there's so much obesity, so much heart disease, so much high blood pressure, so much diabetes, so much cancer, so much of every probably disease, probably every kind of disease that you can probably think of. And it has a lot to do with the food. So what I'm going to be doing, I mean, if I had a magic wand, I'd make everybody a vegetarian, but I know it's not going to happen. So for those of you who are vegetarian, for those of you who are not, there 
don't feel like that I just can't do this because you can and there's an easy way to do it you don't have to work out until you're gonna pass out you don't have to do that you don't have to eat like a rabbit or a bunny or rabbits and bunnies are the same thing a rabbit or a the chipmunk something little little lettuce and bird food you don't have to do that okay so these are going to be uh, videos to help you to lose weight and to keep it off forever so many times this is what we do so many times we say okay I'm gonna oh, I got this wedding coming up or my class reunion is coming up or I have to go to this uh, funeral and I know I'm gonna see all my cousins and and all of that you know I don't want them to see me fat or you know overweight I don't want them to see me like that so I'm going to lose weight I got a couple of months and I'm gonna lose weight and, and then you know it's, it's gonna be on then and then after the event is over what do we do we go back to the way we used to eat we go back to the cookies and the candies and remind them and mind you the cookies and the candies and even cereal has salt in it why would salt be in cereal that's something to think about. Why would sugar and salt be in everything? Because sugar and salt together makes you eat more. Sweet and salty together makes you eat more. Remember the little slogan, I bet you can't eat just one? Hmm. They knew we couldn't. And there's a reason they knew we couldn't. Okay? So, it's on now. It's on. These videos are going to help us to change the way we think about food and to change the way we see a serving. Because right now everything's been supersized. It's been supersized for a reason. Supersizing is to make you buy more, to make you eat more. Because they make more money when you eat more. So, we're going to rethink how we see a serving because now the way we look at food now when we see a serving it's like uh-uh that ain't enough food mm -mm, i don't want that don't go there they don't give you enough food mm -mm, they just give you a little bit they don't give you enough food no go over there to jimbo's they give you a lot of food on your plate girl you can't even eat it all you gotta take it home they didn't gave you enough food for three days and you're going to try to eat it in one sitting. And that's what they want. They want you to tell everybody about Jimbo's because Jimbo gave you a lot of food. It's done. It's over. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to start Monday. For everybody who's interested, we're going to start Monday. I'm going to talk about it Sunday, but we're going to start Monday, and I'm going to give you different menus and different recipes and different things just for you to try. I mean, you can take a bunch of different programs and customize it to fit your lifestyle. Customize it to fit what you like. Customize it to fit what you want to do. It's all about health. It's all about being healthy, healthy, healthy. It's not about being skinty. I said skinty. It ain't about being skinty. It's about not having high blood pressure, not having diabetes, not having heart disease, not having cancer, not having strokes, and so many other things. So that's what it's about. So hopefully, you know, this will be something that Maybe you'll be interested in doing or, or uh, just interested in the tips or whatever. Okay? So I'll be seeing y'all. Look for those postings. Look for the recipes. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay? Bye, y'all.